Hello and welcome to the official podcast. I'm Andrew. That's Charlie. That's Jackson. That's Kaya. Today we're going to talk about things. What kind of things? Oh fuck! Uh, what do you want us <laughs> to talk about? I didn't Andrew. prepare this. <laughs> what <laughs> porn stars would you like to see come on the official podcast? Well, wait, 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 wait. What porn stars would you like to see come on the podcast, but then they don't come on five minutes before the show? <laughs> <laughs> Which ones would well, you like not, to be stood up by? That's not fair. She stood us up at least twenty four hours before. That's true. She vanished off the yeah. face of the earth. <laughs> yes, that fair play alliance got her. <laughs> Can't have porn stars on YouTube. Oh well, can you not? No, you, you, can. you can. They're you allowed. Totally on, they're can. allowed on the platform as long as they don't show their pussies off. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, I figured you like YouTube would be big on porn stars and all. They used to be. Don't you remember the Reply Girls? Reply girl. They were oh, the big stars. boob. Yeah. They were oh. porn stars. Well, well they, they weren't, did. but it was all about tits. Yeah. They're just, it, they were the cam girls. girls. Just cam girls. Yeah, soft core. Soft they core. just wanted attention. Yeah. yeah well, they, they just were, wanted to make good content. They were content. the original Twitch boob streamers. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Gaming yeah. the system. That was brilliant. It yeah. Was. I completely forgot about video replies. How, how do Everyone they, did. How do they work again? To run run everyone through it? Video replies? Yeah. The whole oh, uh, well, reply no, girl thing. Oh, people will just make any video, and yeah. some the woman will just reply to it. That's it. In just their own unrelated video. woman. Yeah, you, you gotta. You're leaving out a couple details. If, if YouTube had a feature where if you did a reply to it, it would like feature that video underneath in its own section of the video. Yeah. So they would latch on to like popular videos or whatever just doing i don't know if pewdiepie made a video where he was like i'm making cheese nachos they would reply with like a big picture of their titties and be all like my reaction to pewdiepie's nachos this is how much i love nachos and it would just of course be yeah. like twitch God, titty I hate streams. Those people. that reminds me so uh mia khalifa was interested well i can't say she was interested in coming on the show but uh, i talked to her agent and he was interested in, in selling her show. to the show, I guess. Yeah, pimping her to the show. I thought you meant and the agent wants to come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. But uh, he was he was interested on her behalf. And he wanted her to fly out here. But the second I linked him the podcast, he never responded. <laughs> he wanted oh. to vet the podcast. And so I sent him the, the playlist and he never got back to me. <laughs> oh, I guess we're not good enough. He died. Yeah. He died of excitement. Not, not conducive to to porn stars, I guess. Mm. I feel like this would be the best environment for one to come on. Can we just, if you're a porn star out there, can you just please reach out to us? Why is this so fucking difficult for us? Also, Bad <laughs> Dragon. Can everybody please just send yes. Bad Dragon a mail and ask them why they still do not have our cocks as dildos? <laughs> well, because we're not mythical creatures. Although I'm Turkish. We, maybe we are. <laughs> yeah, that counts for something. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you got me on that one. I don't know, man. I, I I feel bummed out. I want that bad dragon sponsorship. Mm-hmm. Wanted I it think for a long really time. Cool. Speaking of dragons and dinos, though, Jackson, you you had an announcement about what shirts? Yes, we've got new shirts. Uh, merch. <laughs> There'll be <laughs> link in bio. Link in bio. The shirts. Um, two new designs are up on the merch store, so you can go check them out. One of them is a dinosaur shirt because of the dinosaur thing. Uh, Kai has decided that he's going to sell my passion now. He's uh, going to capitalize on it, so he's put that on a shirt. It looks cool, though. It's really cute. It's a really cute dino that says he's, he's cool. He's a cool dino, so go check that out. He's not cool. Well, dinos are cool. Show your support for the movement by wearing the shirt. <laughs> that reminds me of another another celebrity that I reached out to that stood us up. Uh, do you guys know the director of District 9, Neil Blomkamp? Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. Blomkamp? Blomkamp. Blom- Blomkamp, Blomkamp. Yeah. He does a lot of like indie movies now. Like, uh, yeah, Oats, Oats stra- Studio. Straight to YouTube, basically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> by choice. It's not like Hollywood outcasted him. He wanted to do that. Oh, or at yeah, least that's that. the story he spins. Yeah, but, sure. Uh, I reached out to him. And the immediate reply I got, it, it wasn't immediate because it wasn't automated, but I got a reply saying that Neil Blomkamp would never do anything like that or something. It was like personalized to what I said, so I know it can't be automatic, but it was very cold and coarse and really yeah, feeling an hurting. Yeah, He Sounds didn't write like it himself. Some britches. He didn't write it himself. I'm, just, I'm certain of that, but Jesus, whoever did really didn't like us. Can't wait till we become the biggest fucking media sensation in the world. And then yeah, fuck all of you people. 
You're all going to be sorry. You're going to ruin the day. Yeah. When we're sitting here on our on our uh, thousandth episode with our uh, featured guest special featuring Steven Spielberg, George Lucas, and J.J. Abrams, I would love to see Neil Blomkamp's fucking face. I'm going to be <laughs> skiing down a mountain of gold. And meanwhile, somebody somewhere on Twitch is still going to ask Ice Poseidon why he didn't come on in his old age. He's going to look back on those two days we gave him a chance and he's going to be sorry still. Do you think mm-hmm. Ice Poseidon's going to like stream his shit from his deathbed? Like when he's a 94-year-old man <laughs> laying in a hospital, he's going to have the little webcam be like, I'm dying of stuff. It's pretty rad. I saw him get swatted <laughs> yesterday. Really? Neat. Did he? Yeah, he was in like, he was live streaming. I think it was like a a psychology, you know, a psych, what do you call it? Uh, where you get psychoanalyzed or whatever. Therapist. Like, yeah, the therapist. Yeah, sure, therapist. Why would he live stream his fucking therapist? I have no clue. But the poor old therapist. Whores. The old therapist got uh, swatted as well. Was, that's awful. Oh, that's <laughs> it was really bad. Oh my god. People are shit. I don't expect that anything yeah. other than him having called the cops on himself. God, I hate these people. I'm surprised they don't like stream their own parents' deaths. Logan well, I, 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 events and things I'd prefer like literally anything to Andy Milanakis is sitting and eating. I haven't watched yeah. in a while, but I'm sure the content hasn't evolved this much over the the manga. Mm. Yeah, but there's a niche for it, I guess. I mean, somebody's watching, Charlie. Yeah, no, I know. I'm not. Uh, who? I love it. Who are those people? Over it. Do you watch Andy Milanakis? Let us know in the comments and why. Well, was Andy Milanakis a comedian at some point before he started eating? <laughs> 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 he came out of the womb telling jokes. And then he found food and never looked back. That's, you know what I meant. Eating professionally. Yeah. Before doing Twitch streams, <laughs> he had a TV show on MTV, the Andy Milanakis show. He did. He did. He, it was he good. also uh, he also did stuff with Jimmy Kimmel. No, he uh, the stuff he did before sitting down and eating for hours was actually really good. Yeah, he was on TV, but uh, then <laughs> he was like, good. "Oh, I can just I can just walk around New York and have people pay me to eat at different restaurants and make tons of money." So. I can't fault him for that. No, not they at all. The their I mean, gaming I'd system the and they're winning. If that was a thing that I would be able to do, you can bet your sweet yeah, ass I'd be doing it. They're gaming the system and they're winning. There's, I mean, like, there's nothing wrong with what they're doing. It's just no. garbage. I think I think what a lot of people, when they hear us say things like that, they think we hate them or don't respect them. Or it's envious. usually just quite the opposite. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's smart, but it also lends itself to criticism. So oh, I, I admire how shameless they are, but... Yeah. Yeah. I respect that. I don't know. I, I, mean, I, would, do. I would love to get paid tons of money to just have my phone and walk around New York and go to random it. people and go, I go pee pee in my panties and then get I, I hundreds literally of donations couldn't do it. from it. Why not? Because it's, it's so, I don't know, I just feel it's so disrespectful to everyone else around and I'd just be really uncomfortable oh, yeah. filming myself in public like that around other people. Yeah, I hate, I hate the people that intrude into other mm-hmm. people's lives for views or whatever, like... It's kind of like the the whole prank thing. Well, those are all fake. That was a bad example. Like whenever a uh, Twitch streamer maces a random person in public, which happened the other day, or something like that, you know, to oh, get no, views and drama. Yeah, I just Ma- can't stand. What uh, he was just macing random people. No, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound. That doesn't sound right. I, f- I forget the story. It was like um, he spilled. No, the the person he spilled mace. Oh no! Look out, my mace. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I'm so sorry. I think the random person spilt water on him and then he maced the person. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> it, was, it was something like that. I don't want to fact check it, so something happened I'm with so mace and Twitch. Trust me. I'm just I'm just typing in streamer mace. This is Man no, gets no maced fact after, checking. I'm sorry, I had to. Yeah. Man gets maced after pouring water on live streamer. I'm watching it right now. This looks like a middle school boy. Oh, no. no. Oh, it's a little different than that. So he got up and threw something at the live streamer. Eh. Can't so it's, it's it's a fight. He he instigated a fight, and then this guy maced him. Except he's really inconsiderate because he just threw the mace around like he was pissing into the wind, right into right in the direction of a yeah, child. Pe- people were eating. It was a restaurant, so he was yeah. macing. He was he was uh, conducting chemical warfare on this poor restaurant full of people. I don't know. I I still couldn't do what they do. Which is just these weird lifestyles you can where. Mace people? <laughs> no, I don't know. Just be one of those people where, yeah, it's easy money, but there's so many ways to make easy money where we always 
I mean, we pass on many things that we could do that we don't want to do. You could easily set up an email scam and fuck old people out of their retirement money, it's right? But different. we don't do it. This is legal. I mean, it's... Yeah. Well, no, point is, you could do all kinds of shitty shit to make money. Lots of money more than we make now. Yeah, but, but the point, the point is, this the is like effortless. I want. This is like effortless. I know, That's but true. it's also... That's <laughs> true. You have to learn how to use it. <laughs> Yeah, but it's also just not fulfilling, you know. I, I don't know. I, that's not what I want to leave behind when I die, being remembered for that. Just having something achieved in my life that isn't that would be nice. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to remember Mace, dude, but uh, no, at least he'll no, have money before all. he dies. Or a little bit of money. I don't know how much money he gets from macing people. Well, it's not all about money, Jackson. So I think the, I think the best thing about being stood up is you have a lot more time to look for someone <laughs> who won't stand you up. And you can find someone that's not going to stand you up on ZipRecruiter. They might even make you money if they're a good worker. Tell them about it, Jackson. ZipRecruiter knew there was a smarter way to sell this ad. That's why they had me read it instead. <laughs> they built a platform that finds the right candidates for you. They learn what you're looking for, identify people with the right experience, and invite them to apply to your job. Charlie, how many employers who post a job to ZipRecruiter? 80%, 80 Andrew. God Holy did his shit. fucking homework. This man studied for the test, got an A minus because I didn't I didn't finish asking the question. See doc points. It's impolite. But it's okay. It's okay. Eighty percent of employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site in just one day. Jackson, Kaya, please read the fine print for me. ZipRecruiter.com slash official. That's actually how they found us. Previously, they tried advertising on other podcasts, some despicable, low-quality podcasts run by subhuman hosts. And, you know, they didn't really get their money's worth, so instead they're trying us. So go to ZipRecruiter.com slash official, show them some official love, show them that we're worthy. Also, get a job. You know, you might not be happy with your current job. You can go there, find a better job, get more money. Buy your mom something nice. Buy your brother something nice. Buy yourself something nice. Fuck your family. Fuck your friends. Why, why did I even mention them? Get yourself a new console. The Nintendo Switch is nice. But did we mention Jackson, that? Just say, no, did we mention that they can try it for free? Because I was about to say, Jackson, make sure to tell them to try it for free because you're good at that. Try it for free. Sweet. His anyway. signature line. Thanks, Jackson. You're welcome. All so right. speaking of unenthusiasm, I'm, I'm half awake, but I think I know... Why Charlie is not enthusiastic. Charlie, you need to inform us what happened when you went to the doctor today. Uh, she felt around my nutsack and like my lower <laughs> abdomen looking for a hernia because I, I was in a lot of pain today in that area. Mm -hmm. So I went to the walk-in clinic since she was fondling my balls after like an hour and a half of waiting. She didn't feel anything, but I still have to get an ultrasound. So there's the uh, status update for the halftime show. Oh, wait, so there's nothing... By you have to, you mean you pretty much, no. I assume, pestered her into it? No, like, she... it's nothing? Are you sure? Do you have x-ray vision, man? <laughs> no? Well, in that case... Do they, do they taste funny? Do they... How, do, how does it feel when erect? Just just help me out. She she recommended it. Like, that was one of the first things she recommended after the physical exam. <laughs> are you a real doctor? That's always... <laughs> I hate that. It always makes me think, like, healthcare professional... As opposed to, like, what, a healthcare enthusiast? <laughs> just read WebMD. <laughs> I never got that. It's not like anybody else works there without a license. Hey, Bob, I didn't graduate med school, but I disabled ad block on WebMD. <laughs> so I'm practically a surgeon. I read all the articles. <laughs> that sneeze sounds like you have a misaligned proton pump. <laughs> what are they, the Starship Enterprise? Like, what yeah. the fuck? The oh, flex no. capacitor malfunctioning a in his aorta. proton pump? <laughs> no, you're kidding, but humans apparently do have a proton pump. Wait, what? Yeah, Google it. Oh, well... I, I know, it, uh, it right. sounds nuts, Let but Let me fact check here. What the fuck is a proton There's a thing pump called anyway. proton... Oh, proton. A proton pump? Yeah, even better. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Huh? Oh, my See, God. See, there's something called a proton pump inhibitor. Wow. Yeah, it's a membrane that... Builds up a proton gradient across the uh. proton gradient. So, uh, have, we, have we not learned how to use it or something? It's just laying dormant in us. Once we use it, we'll be able to like run, yeah. run faster than Cyborgs. the speed of sound or something. Wasn't that the plot of Black Panther? He uninhibited his proton pump. 
it's like his chakras. <laughs> I don't fucking know. That's I'm excited so cool. for all the human augmentation, you know, mm-hmm. but I was recently thinking. So when we, st- have you guys seen that TED talk by the guy who had those really advanced uh, prosthetics for his legs? Mm-hmm. No. I have not. He he has, he lost both of his legs in a climbing accident and he then started like researching and developing these really advanced limbs that he could attach to himself like robot limbs. But I was thinking like as the farther we go, the more annoying that's gonna be because you're gonna have to exchange your parts every time, right? Like, oh, your heart's gonna be a Nvidia or whatever you like, like an Nvidia <laughs> Vagina 1080 Ti, but it's gonna be too you expensive. You have to download drivers for it. Yeah, you're gonna <laughs> have to update shit, drivers yeah. and it's gonna be expensive because of fucking crypto miners and shit. <laughs> so you're gonna be shit out of luck when you're looking for new body parts. <laughs> Would you have to like choose a faction? Like, oh, I only run off of Mac. <laughs> it's an actual yeah. question. Do you think that like you're gonna have to be oh, proprietary? Yeah. Oh, no one? doubt. And then you'll have to get like you're specific kidding? dongles and shit. Antivirus oh. as well. You gotta think of that. We can't fuck. Don't want to get your heart. AMD Ryzen. Don't want to oh. get your heart hacked. Yeah. Literally, literally, this is just a fucking cyberpunk thriller movie. They hacked his brain. It's an anime. It's oh, Ghost yeah. of the Show, pretty much. Actually, yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's a that's an interesting question in the realm of realism. Nothing. So no no stupid dumb bullshit. Like I would just fly with my turbo feet. Like no. <laughs> if you if you had to get a cybernetic enhancement for real, what would you want? Another iron prohibitor. Well, <laughs> we- <laughs> where, where do you draw the line though? What what do you mean? So with, no, like not in, too unrealistic. It, it, something that you could see us having in the next hundred years. Mm. Well, I guess an artificial heart. Either that or whatever technology you need for your cells not to keep dying so yeah. you don't age. Mm, it's none of those. That. That's I don't that's a little complicated though. I don't I don't know if in a hundred years we'd have that. I think I we absolutely would. think so. years in a long time. True. Very we'll true. do it in twenty now just because of that that attitude, Andrew. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. You kicked us into gear. <laughs> Just can you imagine what people in 3,000 years are going to be thinking about us? Like, God, they thought the Earth was round and gravity was a thing. God, look at them. They were so short. What do you guys think of of all the, like, you know how sometimes you tune into the Discovery Channel and there will be a monk and they're like hanging themselves by the neck, but it doesn't hurt them. They're kicking each other in the balls. They're throwing needles through rock. How much Mm -hmm. of that do you think is real? I've never been more jealous of a talent than when I watch that kind of no, show. No, I, I think they're the Chris Angels of Asia. <laughs> I think Asians. so, too. I think they're faking it. Don't you really? guys? Do you think that's really real? No. I think The, I, the ball kicking, I think, is real. I think a lot of it is real, yeah. I think I a mean, lot of um, it is real, too, but I just mm. don't see them... Like, they were having a heat <laughs> camera on one of them. He was, like, concentrating his chi and his fists or some shit like that. It just I don't see that happening. What do you guys think is the most, is the real top peak achievement any human has ever achieved in terms of body, like strength or otherwise? Was there a dude that could pick up a, a truck or something? Or at least like lift strong a truck? men, you mean? Yeah. Probably those. Yeah, there's shit ton of strong people out yeah, there. There was, there was like, like strong men. There was one dude recently that hit a new milestone, but I can't. Remember what yeah, it's like Bjorn was. Thunderstride or whatever the was guy who plays the Game, of Thrones, Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Did he He's deadlift like a thousand pounds or something? That not even crazy. that strong. He was outdone by some Latvian or Lithuanian guy who looks like a bullfrog, whose name I'm forgetting, but his name's like Tenacious D or some shit, and he looks like this massive monster if who outdid everybody at the competition. How long ago was this? Because I, I remember reading news like a week or so ago about this Bjorn oh. dude. Hitting a new milestone, so yeah, no, Bjorn got over a thousand as well. I know the guy you're thinking about, Kaya, because he did it pretty recently as well, and unfortunately, Bjorn was already on the hunt for it. Oh damn! What was the guy's name? He has such a monster beast weird name no, too. No, didn't. I his name was like Mark Mark Sanchez no. or something. <laughs> no, no. Oh, you're ah th- oh, shit. Okay, I know who you're thinking of, but let's not stall too much. You're thinking of an American Charlie. I'm thinking of some European guy who mm. barely even speaks English. And he's just this weird monster. Like he looks like the Juggernaut from X Men. Mm-hmm. Okay, fucking crazy. Yeah, I, I guess I'm not caught up on my <clears throat> Latvian superheroes. These people must be just bred for it. 
Well, it's uh, definitely they, part of it is genetics for sure. How much? Well, no, d- there's absolutely a part of it. Like there's some people that no matter how much they weight train will never be as strong as them. True, true. Also, that's yeah. his name, Charlie. It's Zedruna Savikas. That was, yeah, that was my next guess. Also pronounced as Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Very common name, you know, John. That's the English translation, right? That's what people always used to ask me in Turkey. What does the, Kaya the mean in English? When, How do you yeah. pronounce it in English? Yeah. No, it, it wasn't even that. It was, what What was your name in English? Or what was your name in Germany? <laughs> the fuck does do that mean? mean? Exactly, it was still Kaya. What the cunt. honest fuck does that mean? <laughs> That's so, yeah, uh, my dog's name is Fido, but whenever we go to England, I call him Sniffles. Like, what the fuck? Well, I can, I can, yeah. In Spanish, the name gets translated, so yeah. my name in Spanish is Carlos. Yeah, some, some languages really? do translate the names. Huh. But but why? I don't know why. I mean, I'm, I didn't doesn't make any Spanish. Sense. But it, it mean, doesn't make any sense. You are Charlie. Your name is not Carlos. I, good observation. But no, I'm saying I get the logic behind I get the logic behind it, but it, it just it seems so arbitrary so and, and unnecessary. Has my life been a lot? Is everybody who's called Carlos actually Charlie? If their if their name not all Carloses are Charlies, but all Charlies are Carlos in Spanish. Jesus, well, no, why? <laughs> Some weird no, relationship. That, that sounds wrong. That sounds mm-hmm. completely that's, wrong. That's a hundred percent right. That's so. Goofy, well, why isn't though? Carlos why? always Charlie in English? Period. Because you can have the name. Carlos without having it be Charlie because the name can can start as Carlos in Spanish you don't have to translate there's no such thing as Charlie and and it can't start as yeah in English but not in Spanish English doesn't translate names so Zedruda Budin over here he would be (laughs) Zedruda Zedruda whatever in English but now if you take you know you, you, fuck you, man. Spanish translates <laughs> names is the point I'm trying to make. What are you but trying we to don't say, translate Spanish you, names. If you take Jake over to Zedrunas' com- country, his name would be something different. His name would be Zavakas or something. Well, I don't know if they translate it, but if you took but, Jake and brought him to Spanish, his name would be Zedruti yeah. Duty. It's the same if, they, if you took Jake and brought him to Spanish? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Council of Spanish. <laughs> Get over here to the Spanish. <laughs> This, new would be this, fake. this sounds like bullshit, but I don't know enough about Spanish to prove you wrong. No, Unless all of my, my fucking Spanish classes were a lie, I'm pretty now, sure I that's f- how it works. I feel I mean, like, even I if mean, that's like, the yeah. case, that isn't the case in Turkish and German or English. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah. Names Charlie, Turkish, you might be so bullshitted. That... In my Spanish class, I was I was uh, Andre, <laughs> or whatever it is. <laughs> well, there you go. You just proved my point. Your name in Spanish was Andre. Or whatever it is in Spanish, I, maybe. So, I what, why I are you arguing if you experience the same? <laughs> because thing. I don't think it's. I don't think that's an actual thing. I think that's just like the, in Spanish they're trying to teach you Spanish, so they're like, "That's not your name. Your now your new name is now and- Andre or Carlos." <laughs> you're Spanish. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> you're kind of big. You're Andre, the not so giant. I feel like if you go to Mexico and you're like, my name is Charlie, but here I'm called Carlos, they'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, I, I feel like if I went to to Spanish, you know, the, the elders of Spanish, and I said, hi, my name's Charlie, be like, hola, Carlos. Yeah. I don't On top believe of you. the Mount Himalay- Himalayan mountains, the Spanish <laughs> elders. <laughs> I don't, I don't Teaching the dragon I th- shouts. I think, I think they'd still call him Charlie. They're just like, if, yeah. if Charlie were to be born there, they would have called him Carlos. No, I don't think so. I, I really do think like they, they would always translate the name. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I, I, you don't want to fact check it, but I really, I'm, I'm trigger happy right now. I'm like scratching my neck wanting to fact check. So what do you, what do you do if your name, what, <clears throat> what do you do if your name doesn't translate? You're no one. Well, some, not all names will. It just so, seems so, so arbitrary. It's like, in, like in Japanese, you know, not everything translates. So, you know, game over is game over in Japanese. You'd have that with Spanish. They, they don't have a Japanese version for just the game ended? N- well, they, they do. But <laughs> if they want to say game over, they say game over. But that's just what game over means is that the game is over. They can't. Yeah. Why, why, I, that sounds more like it's a conscious decision to just uphold some... I don't well, know, that's because it's a phrase that uh, doesn't literally translate. Not the game is ended, but the idea of the actual phrase "game over." Yeah, that's what, I'm, what I'm saying. saying. I, I feel like they could translate it if they just wanted. Well, to. they do. They can't translate they, "game over," but they can yeah. translate "the game is over." Like the game has stopped, exactly. but they can't so, translate "game yeah. over." Kaya, have you ever have you ever heard the phrase <laughs> "it can't be helped"? From yes, 
Well, yeah, I okay, mean, that yeah. that doesn't actually mean that. It, so in like what? anime and Japanese bullshit, when they say <laughs> it can't be helped, it's an it's a Japanese expression, and it doesn't literally translate to English. But that's basically an approximation of what they're trying to say. It's the oh. same thing with what Charlie's saying. Mm-hmm. You Didn't can't you, literally translate it, but you can get the idea. Uh, don't leave this in, but Jackson, didn't we have light stream this week? No. When is light stream? Because I had that call with them like over over a week ago. Let me and they, check they the... said it was coming up. I thought it takes like a month after the calls. No, do. the calls are usually right before the slot. April is it recorded? Next week is movement light stream and hymns. Okay, so it's there next week. Go. All right, sorry, didn't want to <laughs> derail or anything, but I wanted to make sure we didn't miss that. It's Thank you, Carlos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Where are> you? <laughs> Gracias, Andre. <laughs> Why did you? Why did you thank me? You're a good boy. And also, I think it's Andres. Now that I think about it, so, you're, just you choo- you're just choosing your own name. <laughs> yeah, I swear to fuck, it's Andre or Andres, one of the two. I would have been Andres, I think, and maybe perhaps even taller in Spanish. That's what Buzzfeed told me. <laughs> I'm the most handsome Disney prince. <laughs> Turkish well, names are weird. They're all yeah. like elemental. Like, my name's literally Rock. There's other names like Water, River, Earth, Potato, Cherry. <laughs> what, is, uh, what do Jackson and Charlie mean in Roots? 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 The, like, mean? the origin of the <laughs> what word. What language is that? Well. <laughs> yeah, never, the the ancient language of the trees. <laughs> in the slave documentary Roots, what does it mean? No. It, it, what is the origin of those words? What is the definition? Charles is some... No. Because I, I think I Andrew know. means strong in like ancient Greek or something. <laughs> You're definitely making shit up. <laughs> All right, fact checking time. <laughs> yeah, it, be, it means from, strong with a nine point eight inch penis. Derived from ancient Greek, it means man, thus <laughs> translating to manly. Oh, look with at that! Iron cast skin and broad shoulders. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not lying at all. I, I, I just fact checked. <laughs> I'm, I'm, okay. It's one of the. It, I know it's just one of your like your trademark segues. Like, do any of your names mean anything cool? <laughs> mine means. Manly. Well, I, I genuinely want to know what Charlie and Jackson mean because yours means rock and mine means manly. I want to know what theirs mean. Well, mine, look it up. I mine think. surprisingly means son of Jack. <laughs> <laughs> well, How did you find this out? Because when I googled Charlie, it says, "Do you mean Carlos or cocaine?" <laughs> <laughs> You're joking. You've got your Google nope. set to Espanol. Here, I'll, I'll do it for you, Charlie. Uh, Charlie is the late 19th century. It is a diminutive of the name Charles. Which, <laughs> wow. Which means, hang on. Oh, it's it a, is a derivative means, of, the, of the Germanic name Carl. Oh. Ooh. And it apparently is a Germanic you, word meaning man. So, hey, we both, so, we both mean the man. Original Anglo Saxon. <laughs> Cyril, I guess, or Carl? I don't know how that's pronounced. As the name of the king, Carl of Mercia. Mm-hmm. So I guess there he used go. to be a king or something. Yeah. So so let's let's get this together. My name means manly. Charlie's main means manly. Kaya's name means manly. And Jackson's means son of Jack. Hey, Jack could have been a manly dude. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no one knows Jack. What yeah, he Jack could have been the manliest of all. In, in Scotland, yeah, though, in, in Scotland, though, Jackson means God has been gracious. So that's something. Oh, that's cute. That's, that's good. long for a name. So, so Jack just means uh, a rebel. It's a it's a rebellious name apparently from from it's Shakespearean in nature. That's cute. Yeah, yeah that's pretty cute. Wait, so Shakespeare invented the name Jack? Uh, there's a Shakespearean meaning and then an American meaning, but they both mean the same thing. Yeah, Shakespeare invented a ton of words. L- mm. Literally, when Shakespeare sometimes didn't know how to like express what he wanted to say, he would just make up words. To mean I knew what he that. Was I didn't think yeah. he came up with actual words. That's amazing. It's like naming Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty I, fucking I, impressive. I, the one that I know off the top of my head because I love dumb trivia is the word eyeball. Like mm. we had eye and ball, but no one ever put them together until Shakespeare. <laughs> what a genius! Yeah, <laughs> we can take this one and put it with this one, and it means this. I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying Shakespeare was smart. Actually, quite the contrary. I think he, he was, was a fucking loser. No, he, was, he, was he wasn't. Smart. He was wicked. He literally, smarts, dude. No, he didn't. All he did was write dick jokes. Uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. 
He was a loser and a fucking beggar. And he wrote <laughs> shitty. On race. He Ooh. literally wrote the equivalent of like Honey Boo Boo. What two Back words have you day. put together? <laughs> yeah, put together two words right now, Andrew. Fuck ass. Yeah, we'll see if that sticks. Shakespeare already invented that. <laughs> yeah, three mil- you know, three thousand years from now, kids are called fuck ass. <laughs> what does your name ma- mean? I think it means son of fuck. Ma- <laughs> means <laughs> from means the ma- Andreic language. <laughs> it means rock man of Jack. <laughs> from the Anglo-Saxon fuck. Would you and would you ass. be content with that if you don't get fame in this life? Would you be fine knowing that after you die, hundreds of years later, somebody like people no. are gonna care about you? I want my no, fame now. No, yeah, not not I want it now. Yeah, no, but not even as a consolation prize on your deathbed. Like, oh, then absolutely. Somehow you found out that you are gonna be revered in the future. Well, then yeah, yes. fine. Oh well, um, yeah, I absolutely would, want it. I would be like cool, and then I die of whatever illness I had. <laughs> Great, you kill yourself immediately upon finding that out. Get that fame started. <laughs> yeah, I want to get there quicker. Yeah, I, would I mean, leave behind I mean, a manifesto when I if I found out that. I mean, if you want to look at the fucking nihilist atheist bullshit perspective, that's really all you get. Your legacy. So I'd does, absolutely take it. Does Andrew mean manly or edgy? <laughs> <laughs> it means I love Rick and Morty. Wubba wubba dub dub. Oh, guys, stop! We already lost patrons because we didn't respect God. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. Just gotta... You you, re- you reverse bubble about dub dub. You like bubble about wop wop. You you made fun of atheists. Aha! Uh-huh. You said I couldn't make fun of or make up my own words, and now here we are. Bubble about that... bub bub. There you, you go. You didn't even crash any words together. That's not going to make it very long. Let's make up our own words right now. How about that? Let's make up a word that we honestly think will stick. For something that we think of. Yeah, Scrodies can definitely. I see a lot of Scrodies. Where did they come from? Was that Psychic Pebbles? Where was No, that's ours. That was was one of our hangouts. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, but I mean, mean, it came (laughs) from. I thought you were giving the credit to somebody else. Yeah, fuck you. you. Zach, Zach, if you're listening, thank you for creating (laughs) Scrodies. No, I thought it was in his episode, I meant. No, no, no. It was during our hangouts. Yeah, right. Scrodies is a good one. A one word that I always thought had the potential to stick was reflaffitator. Ooh, Whoa, what does it mean? mean? It doesn't mean anything. That's I think that's what really held it back from glory. It has no meaning. It's just a word. Of, uh, <laughs> sorry to spill the can of beans here. I didn't invent the word reflaffitator. It was a friend of mine in high school. Oh. It, does, it has no meaning. He just used it in a sentence on the report one time just to fill up space. I always wish that a uh, fucko became a word, like an that, actual. That's cheating, though. Word. Like you're using right. an existing word and just making it sound worse. I, I'm just like Shakespeare. <laughs> you combining <laughs> fuck with a single letter? <laughs> yeah. At least you probably two did full that. words. Well, well, when it's two, when it's two full words, it's easy because then it's just object with object. We'll do like, it if it's so easy. Cut queef yeah. bucket. A See, like you choose words that, that have no chance of being a name a hundred years from now. No one's oh, going to be. Queef, I didn't but say names. That. I didn't say names. I said like any sticking power in usage. You don't know that, Charlie. Maybe a hundred, five hundred years ago, somebody was like, nobody's going to name their kid Jackson. <laughs> All right, you want to? You want an honest one that'll be super easy for a name? Godson. There you go. Godson. That is yeah. totally going to be a name in a hundred years. Is that, is that Drake's new album? <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jackson? What can you crash together? Well, here's, a, here's actually a legitimate fact for you. Then, When I was in college my senior year, there is a band of muscle. It, it's named like the S-band, uh, etc. S-band, yeah. A-band, I-band. There's mm. a band of muscle that has no scientific name. To this mm. day, no one has named it. If you guys want to name it now. <laughs> Let's do it. Where, where, wait, where, where is this muscle? It's got to be the most useless thing. No, 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 it's it's not a muscle. It's what muscle is comprised of. They split it into bands like the I band, A band. I can't remember all of them, but there is one hmm. that doesn't have a, a a band name. Why not? I don't know. They just didn't bother naming it. It doesn't have a name. <laughs> does I nothing see. ever happen with it? Like, does no one ever hurt their unnamed band or anything? Jesus, it's ever? not something you can hurt. It's just when you break down muscle and look inside of it, it's composed of bands. Well, and one of the I- bands is unnamed. They don't name it like a V band, a D band, C band, or anything. It well, has what I'm no saying, name. yeah, is has this never been an issue? They've never been in like a class studying or anything and gone And This band is uh, like, it's never been a problem. Well, my, my professor named it after himself, but that's a, that's lame. We could do so much better. 
It's, it's bold. He took initiative. <laughs> yeah. I respect it, but we could do much better. I don't know. The official band? The O band? Ooh. Ooh, there bad. we go. That was oh, you have some official in your body, fellas. O band probably hey, ooh, everyone, exists. Ooh, everyone's at least a little official. That's it. Ooh, it's officially no. declared. Everyone Dude, has the official inside. No, fuck off. That's one of those like every child is special kind of deals. They aren't. No, you don't have official in you unless you buy the shirt. Mmm. <laughs> Your slogan. Jesus. <laughs> you too can to pay to be official. I'm, after the episode's over, I'm going to find where that was. I think it was like parts of the sarcomere or something. It's I been don't a long even time. know what that means. I'm, I'm just ignorant on all of it and happily so. My friend wanted to call his kids uh, his kid Khan Han, which translated Khan means blood and Han means ruler. Ooh. So that's a stupid name he came up with in high school. I think that's an awesome for... name. Yeah, come hard is so cool. Come hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a fucking retarded name. God, I'm so conf- I'm so consumed with finding this now, but I don't know how I'd even find it. I'm I'm a hundred percent right that it's part of a sarcomere. I know no one gives a fuck. I'm sorry. No, yeah, nobody does. Andre, yeah. hit us with a topic. Yeah, hit us with a topic, Andre. Man. What? All right. Here's something that I think about sometimes. What's a thing that will never happen in culture again that you miss? Huh. So like a like a commonplace Ooh. idea, like like old school answering machines, how no one uses them anymore because everyone has texting and voicemails and shit. Asbestos like <clears throat> football pads. I don't believe you on that one. No, they used to make actual like body armor and shit out of asbestos. Why do you like that? Yeah. Why well, do if you it miss wasn't that. Well, if it wasn't deadly, that is. Like, if it's, if asbestos was, like, totally fine for you. I guess I misinterpreted the question. I was yeah, what in you, the fantasy world. <laughs> what is to miss about asbestos? I don't know. It was really versatile. No, I'm talking about something that you can never never do again. It, it provided great miss. isolation for a cheap price. <laughs> I guess unless you tore it apart, at which point you'd get cancer. But well, te- other than te- that... Technically, he could, he could never do it again. This is a pretty accurate answer to your question. He'd never be able to make an asbestos <laughs> That's true. shield or whatever he was saying. Charlie misses his asbestos. His good My old Captain asbestos America bed. shield of asbestos. <laughs> <laughs> just, they just all avoid him to dodge cancer. That could work. Think how much harder your players would play if they thought the other team was wearing asbestos. I like the idea of Captain America weaponizing cancer, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Any thug he beats down survives the incident, but then 20 years later dies of cancer. From- we won't have to deal <laughs> with that red skull anymore. I gave him leukemia. <laughs> what an asshole. What it- these villains are heroes. They never use any dirty tactics that that you would in a street fight. You know how everybody knows the difference between a yeah. street fight and like a ring fight. Yet somehow in the superhero movies, they never exist. Nobody ever kicks Captain America in the balls. Like maybe that's something I uh, yeah, that's something I really miss. Really despicable and despisable villains. Every big blockbuster movie now, the villains are just so forgettable and inept and don't do anything like creative or mean or evil or any yeah. of that shit they're just boring cutouts like a, he's kind of a jerk so he's the bad guy they're always just the mirror image of the good guy just you know oh, exactly I'm gonna use this for the bad and still like a doctor strange i'm i know magic but i'm gonna use it for bad well, yeah, ant-man had compelling. the same problem i can get small but i'm they gonna do, do bad things with it black panther did <laughs> i'm another panther all of them fucking did. <laughs> fucking first Iron Man, which is the good one. The villain yeah. was literally, I'm a bigger Iron Man. Well, that's not a, <laughs> oh, I, I guess. No, that's not a mirror. He was the, yeah, he was the main villain, and he yeah. literally was just a bigger Iron Man. Like, Andre I'm tired man. of that shit. I want interesting. I miss interesting villains. They just don't come up anymore. Not even just Marvel. I can't remember an interesting villain I've, in the last couple of years. Anyone? Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I'm trying Anyone to at all? Can't. Any franchise in the last couple of years have an interesting villain that we liked? Franchise? Uh, uh, anything. Uh, any movie, any game, any fucking book, any play, any art house theater project have an interesting villain in the last couple of years? Because I just can't think of any. No, I guess not. I guess the Indominus Rex from Jurassic World was kind of interesting. Ugh. Not even. It's an animal. No, it's a but wild it, animal. It really wasn't. Yeah, just, it was a lab creation. Did you ever watch the movie? It was a I fucking did. animal. At the end of the day, it's just a feral animal. 
Who gives yeah, a shit? It was bred it for war. It didn't have any motivation. Except <laughs> well, I don't want to be unique. in a cage. It, it, no, it hunted this for This lab sport. experiment's gone wrong. Wow, no one... That's not been done before. It's an untapped market. Yeah. <laughs> the, I, I guess the one that maybe would count as Immortan Joe, but Mad Max is cheating because everyone has like 50 pages of lore written about them. And they don't put yeah. It yeah. In the movie. And even yeah, then, he was only cool in the uh, comics and stories. He yeah, wasn't. No, he I didn't do that much in the movie. Yeah, yeah. I'd say Hannibal, but he's not new. He, exactly. I'm talking brand new, yeah. like recent. I can't think of any. I have this huge problem. No idea, man. Well, wow, that's sad. We need better villains. Yeah, I thought it'd be a lot easier to think of one, but I can't. I'm sure. There's so much inspiration, too. There's so many fucked yeah. up things happening in the world, yet we always get the same. You said Iron Man. That just reminds me. In the second one, they just copied the first one where it was, I'm a bigger Iron Man, but I also have a leash. Yeah, it whips. Yeah, it whips. It was, exactly. I got so excited because I thought it was uh, Omega Red from X-Men. You know that guy? Yeah. Nobody knows he, that guy. He, he, he's basically <laughs> the same concept where he has like electric whips and shit, but he was like a big X Men dude. And then it turns out, nope, I'm just a whip man. I don't even remember his fucking name. Whiplash. Oh, great. Cool. <gasps> well, I liked J.K. Simmons. You couldn't really call him a, a, oh, a yeah, villain, in though. But in, in Whiplash, what? got such a good movie. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't see Brilliant that. movie. That is great. You should check that out if you haven't seen that audience. He's the, the director that made that movie made La La Land as well. Another good movie. I haven't watched that one, but God, I love J.K. Simmons. He's a great, a great actor. actor. He's, he's the greatest. Uh, he's the greatest J. Jonah Jameson of all time. No one can take that from him. Who were the Spider-Man villains? The latest Spider-Man villains in Amazing Spider-Man. There was a giant crocodile dude. Jamie Foxx. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, lizard yeah, and yeah. electro blue, man. Blue man. Yeah. Yeah. Blue, <laughs> blue man. Who was the villain in Homecoming? Oh, no. he was he was actually Zendaya. a pretty vulture. Yeah, he was vulture. actually he wasn't a oh, bad villain. Uh, vulture. He wasn't like just a mirror image of Spider Man. Yeah. He was interesting. He was fine. Yeah. He was okay. I mean he was, he wasn't super like obviously since we didn't remember him or anything like that, he wasn't that good, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't remember them because now they're all just one-use villains. You don't ever see them; any of them come back. That there too. was just, you know, thirty minutes of action and then they die. Well, I guess that there's, it. there's that uh, the the overarching nemesis of the uh, Avengers. What's his name? Thanos. I guess yeah, that kind no, of counts. That doesn't count though because by overarching, we haven't seen him mean, yet. Yeah, we have they show him at first. He's done nothing. He's done literally nothing but sit in space and make like tiny smirks. That's it. Yeah. That's all we I mean, know about we've Thanos. We've seen him in post credit scenes for like five seconds. That doesn't count. Yeah. I, I wonder if, is it like movie studios are scared that if a villain doesn't do well, they're going to be stuck with him for the second one too, for the sequel, if they don't immediately kill him off? Well, I think a, a lot of it ties back to Star Wars, how Jar Jar Binks was supposed to be the ultimate evil. Mm, I, got that I don't know if that's a joke. No, th- I really do believe that theory. You and believe I think that because theory? of the Yeah, I think the backlash is what pulled him off of the idea. And I think that's what really started the trend. I bet George Lucas was bragging about it, like, hey, I've got this great idea with this shit ass character, but he's gonna be a really cool bad guy. No. But it was such you, bad backlash he gave up on it. Do no. you think the moon landing was fake too? I mean, what else are you gonna <laughs> drop on us? <laughs> the earth is no. flat, Jar Jar is the ultimate Sith. Well, the Earth is was, obviously flat. I guess I mean, since you brought it up, I guess Adam Driver kind of counts as an overarching bad yeah. guy. Yeah, that's true. He's, yeah. They didn't immediately kill him off, at least. That's something. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say... Who was uh, I going to say? Yeah. Joker, from, Joker from Batman? But that's Joker. Yeah. He was Joker's only in one around. Batman movie. No, right. we're, we're talking about... We're talking about... I guess if you're saying the Dark Knight interpretation of the Joker, I can count that. What about I'm the, talking about the like, Dark Knight yeah, Scarecrow interpretation? Because he's in multiple films. <laughs> oh, oh, God. He was in two. Yeah. He was in all three. No, no, he was in all three. Yeah, he was in the, he was in the third one. The second You're right. One. Yeah. You're right. He, he does literally nothing in the second one. Four if you count really. Dunkirk. <laughs> <laughs> and five if you count Inception. <laughs> all part of the same same universe. <laughs> I love that uh the uh what was it? what's his name the Nolan timeline where that one guy tried to explain how every Nolan movie is connected and how uh <laughs> it starts with Batman and then after all the Batman stuff ends everyone stops their superhero identities and just goes on to do stupid shit. I thought that was great. 
It's well, got to be the worst being a superhero and then one day you lose your abilities and you got to stop. Can you imagine that? Like translate it onto a normal human. Imagine you wake up tomorrow morning and you're only 1% as strong as you are today. Oh, <laughs> you need help getting out of bed. Well, that happens to people. Yeah. What we're trying to say is we should care for our elderly. Damn, that got deep. Yeah, that was <laughs> deep, Andrew. Wow. Do you like you. old I, people? I'm like a I'm like a Shakespeare of my time. <laughs> Who's your favorite old person? <laughs> J.K. Simmons. Uh, oh, that's too good of an answer. He's not old. How old yeah, are you? Are you talking? kidding me? He's like he's like sixty. He's in his sixties. Yeah. How old is old though? <clears throat> we'll go like sixty five. We'll is pretty old. He's yeah, we'll 63. go sixty plus. We'll go sixty plus. Oh, then mm -hmm. I mean, like if you can order off of the there. Perkins fifty five plus menu, you're old. <laughs> Does it come with eggs? Potato uh, pancakes are on there. Oh, baby, don't get me started. We need to go back. Yeah. So um, who's your favorite old person? Oh God, like like one that I want to <laughs> pal around with. Yeah, yeah. Like, who do you think's a yeah. cool old guy? I I think a really good choice, and especially because he's incredibly fucking old, would be Sean Connery. <laughs> hmm. I think he'd be great to just like Why? shit on people with. Why do you think he would shit like... on people with you? Because he'd probably enjoy it. I think it's funny. <laughs> where where do you know. get this head cannon of Sean Connery from? Where does this come from? <clears throat> I don't know. God damn it, just, Andrew. In, my, in my head, out of all the old people I know, I feel like Sean Connery would just like make fun of people all the time. Mm -hmm. Like chuckle to himself whenever he does. You're a sick man. Stop trying to corrupt Sean. Hey, hey, I, I got nothing. I saw the most attractive old person at Target the other day. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> no, I mean it like genuinely. Like I walked in and he was the security detail. And usually when you have like an 80 year old geezer security, it's kind of a pushover. But this dude, he could have still been a model. He was plowing. He was definitely plowing some college age pussy. He had a like a standard douchebag frat undercut. With the grayest hair I'd seen in all of my years, and it was gelled down. <laughs> and he analyzed had some... this man so much. No, he was so fucking cool, man. And he had like these big, <laughs> meaty arms, like fucking SpongeBob anchor arms. And he's, there's no doubt he was pushing his 70s. It was amazing. The dude was great looking, a chiseled jawline. <laughs> you, you, you still, you you still noticed he's old, though, so he mustn't have looked that good. Well, I can recognize he's old, yeah, but he looked great for his age and in general. Did you tell him that? I, I seriously debated it because uh, when I walked in, I was like, damn, that's that's an old guy right there. <laughs> hey, man, you look great. Charles so giggling to himself, real nervous, trying to get the courage to walk up to him. When we were leaving, he was walking by us with like an empty shopping cart. I'm assuming to just put some women in there that he was going to fuck later. And I wanted to say something to him, <laughs> but I didn't know what to say. Oh, that reminds me. I I was going to say Hugh Laurie, by the way, but he's not mm. old enough. So I, I, maybe John Goodman or Clint Eastwood is my answer. There's so many old people. John know. Goodman's a really good answer. Yeah, there's so many fucking old people. <laughs> yeah, they've got quite a lineup going on right I now. I forgot what to I choose. was going to say. But yeah, God, there really are too many cool old people. All right, I have my answer. Mm. I, I want to change it. Danny DeVito. How about you, Jackson? <laughs> I just, uh, he's 73. I'll go with Sean Jesus. Connery. I reckon we could insult people and have some fun. What the fuck? <laughs> so you you steal my hey, answer hey, after no, calling me out you, on it? You've gone you've gone to Danny. I, Sean's all. No, open you to the called taking. me out on it earlier. Like, what are you talking about? Now you're using my answer. Ooh, can, can I, I? I might pick Jeff Goldblum instead. Oh, oh no, damn it! Such a good oh, you fuck! Oh. That's such a good answer. answer. I would love to hang out with Jeff Goldblum. He'd, he'd be sixty-five. Yeah, he's exactly he sixty-five. Order. Wow, I didn't think he'd be able to order off the Perkins old, old menu. Oh. <laughs> he's he's an attractive looking old dude too. He's yeah, no, he, the there security guard was much better. Right. Isn't this like the third episode in a row where we just talked about like what celebrity we'd want to hang out with or have sex with or something? Well, you brought this up by talking <laughs> about old people. It's a desperate right. yeah. cry for help. This I should have known when I brought up octogenarians what I was getting myself into. <laughs> old people would like to fuck, and we all went men. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, do you really want to fuck a granny? Yeah, no. <laughs> I'd rather fuck a granny than a grandpa. You don't. You you haven't seen the security detail at the Target on Dale Mabry. That man is. That's yeah. a man. Milf. That man's for been sure. fucking women since before you were born. I'd for sure. There's plenty of milfs I'd go for, but gilf. Eh. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Not there's really. tons of milfs out there that are good choices. Yeah, I don't know about that. 
It's like, I, I, I don't want to go for those century eggs. Hmm. They can't even That's produce fine. eggs then. No, All the no, better. The, the century egg is apparently an egg that you can put in some clay and then you let it rot for months and years and then you Ooh. can eat it. Yeah, it's from China. Well, that's oh, I, I've actually heard of that. Yeah, because aren't they also called black eggs? Yeah, because they yeah. turn black and green and putrid. Ew, ew, yeah. ew! Welcome to China. You Why don't like you eggs, do Jackson? I don't like a hundred-year-old eggs. People eat anything, man. I don't. I don't know who the fuck came up with it. Sometimes it's such fucked up food, and you wonder how did they invent this. Why would you like? Here's some perfectly tasty normal eggs that you don't have to wait a hundred <laughs> years for, and here's a moldy, fucking disgusting, <laughs> black, melted no, thing that we no, have to no. wait a hundred years to eat. Well, maybe somebody like found it encrusted in, pels- like, I don't know, calcified chicken shit, pulled it out, and like, wow, this this egg must be a hundred years old. I wonder how it tastes. It's human curiosity. Yeah, that's how it all starts, man. That is a good question, how we kind of think to eat certain fucking things. It's a question that's often talked about, but there's no real good answer given to it. Like, for instance, like even cheese. Discovering cheese, the trial and error on that was high risk, low reward. (laughs) Yeah, same with yogurt. Yeah. Yeah. Well, pretty much all dairy. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, pretty much. Even milk. Well, a milk I can totally get because they're like, hey, you suck it from titties. Let's suck it from something <laughs> else's titties. Let's suck it but, from a But cow. the whole yogurt, yeah, the whole yogurt and cheese thing, though, where you have to intentionally introduce bacteria cultures and all that shit, that I can totally see. Yeah. Weird. Well, I guess initially it wasn't intentional then. Somebody, just some retard, decided to eat it and he was a genius. I feel like a lot of it was kind of the whole like jackass argument where they're like, oh, I bet if I eat that, it would taste like shit. Oh, let's do it. Bet you won't. Like something like that. <laughs> daring. That's how we got foods. Yeah. That's probably how it actually started. Somebody yeah. on the town square is daring Socrates to eat yeah. that moldy <laughs> milk and bread. And you just invented like blue cheese. <laughs> You're fucking genius. <laughs> My God. All the noblemen of the city, they're envious, so they make him drink hemlock. <laughs> <laughs> I love that story so much of Socrates. I mean, he was so stubborn that he basically just suicided so he wouldn't have to apologize. I, I, lo- <laughs> I, I would that. love for history in the textbooks to write they murdered Socrates with hemlock because he invented blue cheese. <laughs> I love shit like that. I just love that, man. So arbitrary. Who's an ancient philosopher that you guys would love to hang out with? <laughs> Probably, what is his name? Nietzsche or Nietzsche? 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 <laughs> yeah, the Greek I, I have no fucking idea what his Knight name Rider. is. Knight Rider. No, he's German, right? <laughs> yeah, Je- Knight Rider's German. <laughs> <laughs> Nietzsche? Fred- Frederick Nietzsche. I, don't, I have Not no Knight idea how to it's say Frederick his last name. Nietzsche, bro. Is it? Is yeah, he the one I, I, I know who you're talking about. Wrote yeah, about Nietzsche. war or something. Well, excuse me for not knowing how to pronounce Nietzsche when it's N I E T Z S C H E. Yeah, it's Frederick Nietzsche. I remember yeah, him. that guy. Miss Carlos in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> I want to meet that guy. How about who you? Guys? Some, like, who's the guy that sat in a bathtub and just came up with buoyancy? Socrates. Or whatever? I don't know. That was Socrates too. Fuck, man. I don't know. I Socrates was great. No. Who invented buoyancy? <laughs> it was like some fat philosopher. He like sat in an overfilled bathtub. Yeah. Archimedes. Archimedes. Every- yeah, yeah, yeah. And he looked at everyone watching and went, look, I float. And thus buoyancy was invented. <laughs> he might not have been fat, actually. I don't know. I- I'm a big fan of Socrates just because this man basically spent his life not showering and walking the town square <laughs> owning everybody. He would approach them like a peasant, you know, being all self-deprecating, like, excuse me, young lady, could you tell me why you believe freedom is good or, you know, that sort of stuff. Like, why does the sun come up in the morning? And then they would give him some sort of a wrong answer and he would just own them so badly that at some point the whole (laughs) town was so butthurt at being owned at the town square every single day that they killed him. So, so, (laughs) this is basically... the only reason... He's hmm? basically like an an autist on uh, like I am very smart on Reddit. Basically, no, no, well, no, because he actually was smart, so he doesn't oh. fit into that category. He actually was a smart man, but he would act like this oaf 
when approaching people because he tried to get them to talk to him. So what you're saying is Socrates was the original inventor of I was merely pretending to be retarded. Pretty, yeah, it sounds like it. Well, then, no, that's because those people Stop are still retarded. Like, doubt, Socrates Kyle. was actually right. Socrates was a smart man who only approached people pretending to be retarded because he was just personally amused by it. It sounds basically. like the ancient form of Big Bang Theory, and I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say Bazinga after the he first Sheldon? <laughs> well, no, I mean, Sheldon thinks his shit doesn't stink. He doesn't approach people acting like he was stupid. But no, man, Socrates, it was amazing. And then he he had his disciple, Plato, who wrote the book, the the story uh, called The Apology, which chronicles <laughs> Socrates' his uh, court, basically. The, you know, the ruling on him and shit. And even though it's called The Apology, Socrates never apologized. He just derided the whole town. <laughs> It's great. It's just, it's genuinely an amazing story. I, I suggest everybody go read it or listen to it. You can listen to the Philosophize This podcast. It's like episode four or three where they talk about Socrates. It's great. I mean, you have to admire somebody who just, he chooses suicide over having to admit or having to apologize to people who are obviously wrong. It's pretty funny to me. That's a man who's really, he's, he's about his convictions. He, well, he takes them seriously. No, fuck that. I just <clears throat> tell them what they want to hear. I prefer to grovel. <laughs> you guys, you guys go on about wanting to live as immortal beasts or whatever, <clears throat> but then you roll over as soon as other people want you dead. Well, no, 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 no. I'm, roll we're not over. saying we do You're it. the one rolling you're right. over if you're bending over forwards. No, no I'm no, saying if I had the choice That's of the ultimate form of rolling over. <laughs> he's got a point. You could do anything else. You could prove them right. We He's want immortality if it was actually immortality, not a matter of oh get do I get to live two more years? If I'm if I, I know I'm gonna die anyway, then yeah, I'll go out with my principles. That's fine. No, I'd take a few of them down with me. If I was that smart, I'm sure he would have been able to create like a bomb or something. A trap that <laughs> <laughs> killed him and several other people in the act. Starts playing Fortnite. <laughs> builds a builds a building straight up. Snatched from the top. <laughs> <laughs> Rocket rides through the town. Uh, uh, not many people know this, but Socrates was the original ninja. Drake was <laughs> hanging to hang out with him. How many subs on Twitch did Socrates have? <laughs> Talking about uh, the Big Bang Theory, did you guys know that there's a new one out called uh, Little Little Sheldon or something like that? That's, that's yeah, been out it's for a, a few years. Like five year old. Story. Yeah. Oh, really? It's yeah, only, shut up, Jackson. It's only oh, Jesus. just just come out over here. That's weird. Oh it's boy. Horrible. Well, did they have to redub it to Australian? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's Sheldon's name in Australia? <laughs> Sheldery do. Uh, I've watched a little bit of it. It's so fucking bad. I don't know how anyone can watch it. I don't know why I you're surprised. Well, yeah, I really don't know. The same with the Big Bang Theory, though. Well, well, that's yeah. low hanging fruit, though criticizing Big Bang Theory. I thought you were yeah. better than that, Jackson. Well, I'm not mm. criticizing that. I'm criticizing uh, Little Sheldon. It's slow hanging fruit to criticize children. It's Jackson. new over here. I, I don't. I didn't know this was a big thing. Really, sitcoms are bad, just in <laughs> generally. For the most part, yes, very true. We well, don't uh, like Big Bang Theory. What what little part is there, Andrew, that it's not? That isn't horrible. always sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah. That's not a sit. That's not like a traditional sitcom, though. It's not a that's traditional a, sitcom, but it's technically it's a, sitcom. a sitcom. Yeah. Mm. Uh, f- Friends. Well, I mean, if you were born in the '90s, sure, but which Jackson wasn't. But nice attempt at uh, blending in. I was born in the '90s, actually '97. <laughs> Damn. I was in the '90s. <laughs> all right, all right late cut. late '80s, I guess. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, like the, the guy wants to make the amusement ride by standing on his toes. I'm legal. I'm 21 now. You can't use that. You're just getting old. Oh. Yeah, Shut the old, fuck, man. Jackson. I'll have you know. Yes, uh, not yesterday. A couple of days ago, I was at the supermarket buying alcohol, and the lady, the cashier, wanted to see my ID. Mm. Oh, I'm not that old. I may have a few gray hairs. That's true. But that day, that lady apparently didn't see them. <laughs> I even asked her, I was like, I I was so fucking happy about it. (laughs) I I leaned in like, how old do I look to you? And she thought I was offended. And I I wasn't. I was really just fishing for like compliments. Like I I was eager for her to say like, you look super young. You're not legal. 14. 
I uh I went to Total Wine like a week <laughs> ago, and when they didn't ID me, I got really sad. <laughs> I I know that feeling, Kaya. I understand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's so just, unexpected. It's like you're so used to getting carded at every opportunity, even when you're not doing anything that requires an age limit. I'm not. They never. Well, I've never had to show ID for anything in my life. I don't think. I mean, I really? grew up in lawless Turkey, so yeah. I'm not used to it to begin uh-huh. with. But it's really strict over here. That, even in Germany, nobody. I guess I'd never got this cashier before. Or maybe she's never seen me shaved before. I, I have no idea. But uh, idea. Maybe but. she thought you were the elderly security guard. <laughs> She had to see your security license or whatever they carry. She was hitting on you. <laughs> yeah. I, I was be. happy though. I was. She oh, wanted was to steal your address. And... Was she attractive? No, she's an old granny, like fat and obese. Oh, and... So her eyes are bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. I just don't look old, maybe. How about that? How about we go with that on the official you, story in the record you, here? You just said she was geriatric. She probably so thought she, she was, yeah, some, she probably some thought she was talking to her grandson. She <laughs> might have. Perfect she didn't even eyesight. know she was at work. No. Maybe she TV. thought I was a young, dashing-looking young man, who he could not possibly be old enough to buy this vodka. I better ID this man. If you're a cashier and listening to this, just ID the next people you, you that buy alcohol. Just be nice. You could, you could save a life. Yeah. Make their day. You know what? She's it's such probably, a nice compliment. Come on. She's probably lonely. She's just trying to strike up a conversation with you. Probably. Oh yeah, yeah. but cashiers are known for wanting to hold up the line. Hold it. <laughs> I hate when cashiers force conversation on me. I hate it when anybody does it. Forcing conversations is just never enjoyable. Yeah. Mm. It takes very specific circumstances for you to be interested in like a forced conversation. It doesn't happen it's that just... often. You're not in the situation where it's necessary other than like the barber. And even well, like, then even I the feel elevator. like most of them only do it for the like reviews because I feel like maybe they're scared that if you they don't strike up a conversation with you, some asshole is going to go on Yelp and leave yeah. a review saying that they were unfriendly. Mm-hmm. It's just it's so uncomfortable and weird. Like I I um my dentist is a lovely lady. She was super nice and everything, super kind. But she was trying to force conversation with her, like her hand in my mouth, basically. And I, you don't, you don't know what to do in that situation because you can't really talk with someone's hand down your throat. So you're just kind of mumbling and drooling everywhere, and it's just really uncomfortable. Three yeah, out of five that stars. might be just for their personal amusement. Mine did that too. I guess he would torture yeah. me like I had my fillings done, and he would lie me down neutralize my jaw and tongue basically so I couldn't you know talk or resist and then he would move the screen up a bit up above my head and put on a Madonna DVD oh. and I'm just incapable of resisting because he's drilling around in my mouth and I don't want to like you know startle him or move around too much because I don't want him drilling a <laughs> hole into my cheek shout boo at him or some <laughs> shit. I want to see that happen that'd be so funny if someone's brave enough to do that actually scare a dentist while they're mid-procedure <laughs> oh yeah that'll be fun for me no no just someone else uh ice Poseidon or anyone like that <laughs> if you're out there here's your next live stream gold go for it that'd be that'd be good yeah have yourself swatted during a surgery <laughs> <laughs> they shoot the dentist because he's holding tools <laughs> Did you guys know that apparently sometimes surgeons will... I was watching this video where a lady surgeon, she was talking about how doctor stuff is done. Some She said that, you know, sometimes certain surgeons, they will be sponsored by companies that make surgery tools. So they will bring in a new tool to test. And they, you, wow. you'll be that person on the operating desk, I guess, whom he's going to test it on. What a horrible feeling. And then sometimes you, you hear the... You know those stories where a surgeon apparently was signing every single liver he transplanted. Transplanted. You guys heard about that one? Yeah. He would sign his initials on it. <laughs> what an asshole! Damn. A little autograph. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being proud of your work. I support him. I don't. I don't know. It's kind of weird that we're meant to like blindly trust doctors, or any kind of like medical professional. Well, even then, you could expand it to it's just weird that we blindly trust people to do their job. I mean, anything. You get on a bus, you trust that the driver's not going to drive it off a fucking bridge. 
you walk yeah. down the street and you trust that anyone's not just going to shoot you. It's not really blind, though, because you have some past things to go off of. You know, I mean, if, if he's a doctor, you assume that he's been good so far, that he's not just going to come into the operating room and sneeze into your guts. <laughs> Pull a pull a gun and blow your brains out while you're lying. There. Like, is he anesthetized? He could boom. be having a bad day or something. His wife could have left him that morning, and then he comes Fair in with a loaded gun. Right. I always worry about well, something like that. That's yeah. that's there extremely rare. Like do. that pilot who drove the plane into a mountain, but mm, it doesn't happen yeah. all the time. I mean, the only reason that you get comfort in not having those things happen or not thinking those things will happen to you is because they're rare. But yeah. at the end of the day, if something like that is to happen, there's pretty much nothing you can fucking do about it. Just don't get married. Have no surgery. Well, it, your marriage doesn't matter. Their marriage matters. Just don't get married and then you don't have to crash planes into mountains. To be fair, if you were a doctor or had any other high-paying job, you would be pissed if you got divorced because that's a lot of money you're losing. <clears throat> no, not with prenups. Yeah, not if you sign a prenup. Yeah, but not everybody gets one. That's would you true. get one, Charlie, if you get married? Yeah, well, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Can we get Tiana for a commentary? She was all for it. Yeah. But right, I don't then. plan on getting married. Do you plan on... Are you, oh, that's a good question. Are you marriage type of guys? Because I think marriage is just a, a very outdated and... Uh, yeah. Sl- um, I don't want to say silly, but... No, it's completely useless. Fuck marriage. Yeah. I hate marriage. It's just... Oh, it, oh, yeah, why, why, do you, why, do you, why do you need a contract to, like, declare your love for someone? It's just... Why do you need a contract for anything? Why do you need a contract well, from a store when you buy a TV? Because that's because well, I can return though. it. Yeah, that's not exactly. Feelings. That's I'm the not point. Buying a it's TV basically just in front of the law. That's the point of it. Is just proving your commitment. Yeah. They just had a study like last week proving that commitment makes couples much happier. You can prove it other ways though. And not like this. You can't prove it as much as when you like get married what, without a prenup. Why can't you just have like, like a commitment. small cere- ceremony or some shit? Well, you can. You're still married. Well, they you used get... to be. Marriages used to be small, intimate ceremonies between like the people getting married and close family, and they were yeah. done in people's homes, just with a person officiating it. But then they uh, still are. It's not an ancient thing. Yeah, the marriage isn't about the the hoopla. It's about the you know, are you actually gonna sign it? And then yeah. if you sign it, how you are gonna sign it? And you know, for a lot of people, that commitment just matters. Yeah, I, I don't think, think, I think I'm ready for it. I just get it. I, I understand why somebody would want to get married. It's just commitment, and apparently it makes people statistically much happier. I feel that. Well, it wouldn't make me happier. <laughs> Not now. I wouldn't be happy either if, if I, like, Jesus, if some girl knocked on my door, like, I'm pregnant, let's get married, I'd kill her. Jesus. I guess that's the only way to handle that kind of situation, yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't take the Socrates route out and kill yourself. Him lock, yeah. Why, why would I end my own life if I can just, if there's a better well, way? Well, that's what I was saying before, but you praised Socrates for it. There's no principles to stand on, though. There's, it's not my principle that I'm never going to harm another human life or something. Like, like, It's not like you're standing for anything if you're going to skip on killing some woman who's showing up at your door with a child. But how are you standing for anything when you kill yourself? You're not around that's... in the aftermath to bask in the, like, the, in the righteousness of being... Right. That's why 5,000 years from now, people are still going to talk about Socrates, but not you, Jackson. Oh, they, they talk about him because of his suicide. No, because he was an amazing philosopher. Well, yeah. The, Jackson, that's they good. are he, literally he would, ordered They would still as, be talking about him even if he lived a full life. Not as glorified. They, they literally categorize philosophers as pre-Socrates and after. That's how important this man's life was. Because of his to findings. Because of like well, the his, accomplishments he made. His findings I, were walking around town square like a douche and just owning people. That was his findings. <laughs> it was like an original Twitch prankster, except he was good at it. Well, that's why that's oh, why God. you idolize him. Oh yeah, I love Twitch streamers. That's what I'm known for. <laughs> God, could you imagine? Would you want to live in that world where like any Milanakis is considered like Socrates in the future? We kind of do, man. Kids grew up thinking the Paul yeah. brothers are like Shit. the modern day messiahs. Fuck, yeah. you're right. Yeah, we were already in that day and age. God damn, that is depressing. And I don't, yeah. I don't want us to come across as snobby to anybody listening, but come on. Like, I know every generation has their own thing and it's always dumb to the past generation. I know, but really? The fucking Logan Paul brothers, really? 
They're just so zany. They're retarded. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else we got? <laughs> well, let, let's t- let's pick some more low hanging fruit. So we don't like Big Bang Theory or the Paul <laughs> yeah. Brothers. It's like those- Scientology's. Uh, it's yucky. Uh, we've we've spoken about that before. There. That's it's like true. those brave, brave people on Twitter. Like racism is dumb. Wow. <laughs> why? Why are you acting like we're suddenly above like picking? Low no, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just kidding, Jackson. It's just been the theme so far. Well, not intentionally. It was like well, one. Thing. I didn't I think know. it was manufactured. It's, it's this fine. Is where, this is just where we're at today, I yeah. guess. <laughs> Big Bang Theory is dumb. <laughs> we don't. We really don't talk about things that we like a whole lot. <laughs> because you get shut down when you do, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> by us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell us what you like, Jackson. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember now. <laughs> <laughs> we keep the things we like to ourselves so we can continue to like them. There's also mu- not much to go off of it. Like if we're bitching about stuff, we have ways to rant. But if we like something, it's just oh yeah, I like okay, that too. Let's, all right, I'm I'm opening up this company for public stock. I am opening up the Kaya's liking stuff corner to oh, all man, of you. Oh man, that thing's so been covering the let's, dust. From now on, every episode, all four of us mention one thing we like. How does that sound? Okay, okay. that's fine. Um, yeah. Sure, Jack that's, that's fine. All right, I still like dinosaurs. You can't keep using that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's sorry. New, that was something last week. new. Don't you? You, what, you belittling it again? You belittled it last time. Just let that me have last it this week. week. I'm it not belittling week, dinos again. We're belittling oh, okay, 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 okay. it again. Okay, uh, I've just received confirmation or semi-confirmation that there's a Spyro the Dragon return. Uh, the original trilogy is getting remade, so that's my pick of the day. Okay. I can't wait for that. That's that's kind of a dragon dino thing, so kind of lame. Dragons but okay. aren't dinos. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like Jesus dragons? Christ. I mean, what do you think dragons are based on? Fucking cats. No. Birds. Well, there you go. <laughs> what do you? What They're do you based on dinos, movie? Jackson, which are in turn based on basically overgrown chickens. Oh, here we go. Shut up. <laughs> All right, Andrew, go. Andre, sorry. I like Far Cry Five. <gasps> oh well, that you fucking coward, coward. Oh. So, yeah, coward. How am I a coward? coward. I'm I don't know. You're a coward, though. <laughs> I guess I'm a coward. <laughs> it's like you don't even choose a political side. Coward. Ugh. You play a game okay. where they're not even brave enough to like rape Trump supporters and shoot their children. Yeah, uh, pussy. the game's not making yeah. a statement, you pussy. Uh, sorry, it's a I game just, devoid you know, of political drive, Andrew. Oh Fucking God, loser. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know how I can survive in this climate. But just when I enjoy something for fun and not any politics behind it, I just, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm sorry. I don't Dinosaurs don't have politics. Yes, they fucking did. Yeah. Did you vote in the dinosaur elections? No? Then shut <laughs> up. Jesus Christ, Jackson, you've never watched Extreme Dinosaurs? Oh. That's my that's my pick. I like Extreme Dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, you, you like do have dinos to pick something now? out. Never even heard of it. It's just a bunch of oh, dino bros hanging out. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It's cool. What the fuck? This looks terrible. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's not. It's okay. It's it's good. It's like street strikes, but more testosterone. Ugh. Yeah, it's like Dino Gang doing Dino stuff and beating up bad guys. <laughs> and aliens too. They fight aliens, if I remember right. <laughs> They're like the what Men in Black. Old shows just using these mythological creatures like gargoyles, <laughs> mummies, dinosaurs, oh, which I, I know they're not mythological, you boner, in the comments. Like immediately, I bet somebody jumped there, but I know. It's just because they're cool, man. But now everything it can't be can't be cool anymore. Like even using Far Cry Five, it has to be like politically driven. <laughs> like cats oh, if like extreme dinosaurs ran today, there'd be a theorizing about which one is black. Oh, they'd be, they be if they didn't touch one. on like a uh, conservation efforts or something. <laughs> wow, this shitstorm! <laughs> Bring back dinosaurs. We were the ones that drove dinosaurs to extinction. The we have to bring them back. Enough. Don't be afraid, kids. Tell your parents to vote out senators that aren't investing in cloning technology. <laughs> Deplatform them. Get rid of their advertisers and all that. Kaya, shit. you started Ugh. this bullshit. What a yeah. 
What's what about your, you, Kaya? What's your like? Uh, I like Monk. I'm watching Monk again, which is an old show that many Monk people might not have show. heard yeah, it's of. Really yeah, good it's show. by the same it's people who made show. Psych. But I, I never got into Psych. I just, I don't know, I found it a little silly. But Monk is great. Speaking of, I mean, Big Bang Theory, you know how those shows, at Big Bang and, say, Sherlock on uh, the with the Benedict Cumberbatch, they do the brilliant artist shtick where it's a brilliant guy, but he's sort of an asshole because he's so autistic. He's on a spectrum that he doesn't understand social norms. Monk is like one of the first shows to do that, but they did it in a way where instead of being an asshole, you just, you really, really like the main character. He's just no, he, yeah, nice. he's, really, he's really likable. He's not like the butt yeah. of the jokes, basically, like yeah. Sheldon is. He's just... He, he's not really a jerk well about character. it. He's just, if anything, you just feel bad for him and you just start loving him. Well, he's got that really sad backstory. He does, yeah. So yeah. if anybody would like to binge a new show, check out Monk. I don't know if it's on Netflix or anything. Probably not. I, too, also recommend Monk. Very good show. Extreme Dinosaurs would be my recommendation for the week. <laughs> Extreme right. Monk. Everyone has their homework. <laughs> I expect the comments shows. to be filled with some synopsis for at least season one of Extreme Dinosaurs. Some essays, please, on mm-hmm. why some it's words. not politically charged enough. I wonder if it is. I haven't gone back and watched it since I was a kid. Maybe it sucks dick now, but I do wonder if there's like some undertones in there, like pushing agenda. Maybe, man. Some of those cartoons, yeah. like I was re-watching, I was watching an intro of a kid, actual kid show that I used to watch as a little kid in Germany called Alfred J. Quack, and turns out they had Hitler in it, like a <laughs> Hitler duck. Oh. Who, oh, who, right. Like, That's a Zeke duck said the other day. Yeah. Yeah. He would like Zeke Heil and go, you know, this nation's borders aren't protected enough. It would just, he was this weird duck with a Hitler mustache and Hitler haircut. He would angrily talk. It's, it's interesting what old shows used to do. I don't think Much they had Hitler fun. and extreme dinosaurs, though. You don't know. I don't Hitler know, but I'm looking at tops. Yeah, he was the main voice actor. <laughs> it's possible. I still have a, like, a lot of it on VHS. Do you even have a VHS player? No, no, I don't have a VCR. But I have the VHS, just in case. <laughs> Wonderful. Put it in the archives with that like bunker that the Dutch own where they store seeds of plants in case an apocalypse mm. happens. You guys know that the, thing? The seed, the seed vault, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's a Dutch or some other European country, but I think we should just store a bunch of porn there and just in case an apocalypse we'll wipes us out and future generations don't know what porn is. They're just like confused about what to do with their genitals. Andrew, did you have anything to say about porn? Uh, no. Not very opinionated on it. No, it's all right. Do you like porn? Depends on the porn. And even then, not really. Take us out of here, Jackson. Hang, <laughs> hang going on, down hang Andrew's on, dark hang past. We're, we're leaving. S- no, no, hang on. We have we have one more duty to fulfill, which is apparently Patreon sometimes will not send people mail. Or I guess yeah. it goes down in their junk mail or something. So we have to redo two shout outs one is for jackson i sent it to you and one is for me which is really painful so here's two shout outs from last month that our patrons didn't get so never say i didn't do anything for you all right this one comes from shackle lance who says hey guys want to say i fucking love all of you and you really made my university life much better i just finished binge listening to this podcast took me a month of listening during my commute to uni and during my showers i was originally a fan of charlie but i quickly grew fond of all the other guys Kaya and his persistence defending whatever he thinks is right to the death. Andrew, you are very relatable and you have an amazing laugh. Jackson, I think you grew the most on me. I love the random noises you managed to produce and you're really funny. I also love the way you say good pussy. Gets me every time. When, f- <laughs> oh, when do I say that? <laughs> it's your catchphrase. <laughs> Jackson, hit, hit him with it again, Jackson. Say it in your usual intonation. We put it in your good pussy. Wind up toy. Yeah. Remember, <laughs> remember we were talking about things we like and we were like, Jackson, why don't you start? And you went, good pussy. We all laughed. 
Yeah, I like that where you pull the string on Jackson's doll and he just says good yeah. pussy. All right, I'll yeah. say it one last time for him. I also love the way you say good pussy. It gets me every time. Charlie, you're just one hilarious motherfucker and I've been a big fan since forever. Feels good to finally finish all the episodes and be up to date. Although it was nice hearing Kaya predict shit and bash on stuff that didn't happen yet, which I already knew the outcome of. <laughs> I have so much more to say, <laughs> but I guess I'll wait till next month so I don't take up too much time. Till next time and stay moist. That's a super sweet message. Thanks, that Jack was Lance. really sweet. Thank you. All right, this one is from Jeremiah, I believe. I, for some reason, I didn't write down the name, but it, I vaguely remember. So this is horrible, Jeremiah. He says, so the only important part of my message is, of course, the first batch of Kaya puns. So it's all I'll dump for now, saying the rest for sh saving the rest for shoutouts in the future so I have something to say for the weeks of support to come. Kaya Orvelian Orson. Kaya the Maya Orson. Kaya our son Orson, the sun god. Kaya the white supremacist Orson, here to fuck your mother, because white supremacy, white as in W-I-D-E. Kaya number one under Orson, in parentheses our son. Kaya Kankaya Orson. Kaya the fire, in parentheses fire Orson. <laughs> So I guess it's supposed to be Kaya the Fire. Kaya Matata Orson. It's our problem free monarchy. Kaya our person Orson is our guy. I hate them when I'm not that tired, but I but hopefully you get a kick out of them. I hate you. These are all so bad, Jeremiah. He's a Socrates of our time, we found him. <laughs> Just terrible. That's what we needed. I All like right. that. That's my other addition to the I like corner. <laughs> <laughs> well, wonderful. All Jesus. right. Well, buy our shirt and go on Patreon. Yeah. All right. That's the official. Po I mean, fuck. Patreon.com slash the official podcast. You can support us there and get some neat little shout outs in and other reward tiers. Go check it out. We've also got merch. There'll be links in the description. Go check that out. Be be uh, Jackson, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I would like to at least have this on the record a while back, like back in Splash TV times. Kai and I were coming up for cool names for him, like, you know, like they have the, the X, you, you don't, oh, Zim boy. Zam or Flim Flam, whatever. So we were thinking of one for Kaya, and all we could think of was Kaya the Faya. So it's amazing <laughs> that he thought of the same thing. <laughs> Nothing rhymes with Kaya, so all we had was Faya. Yeah. Gross. That's beautiful. Horrible. Disgusting. <laughs> Put your best. What? There's what? a tractor outside. I don't think you can hear it, don't worry. I hear a foghorn. Now I hear it. Uh, yeah, it might well, be I'm it. glad you put that All in All right, Jackson. let's wrap this up. I, well, I didn't, I didn't do it. But anyway, okay. um, yeah, mer new merch, new shirts. Go check it out. They're cool shirts. Um, thanks, everyone, dinos. for watching. Yeah, dinos Good are night. cool. Go support dinos. See ya. Bye. Love you. Bye. 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 See you next time. Bye.